You want to say hi? Grayson Hume isn't even two years old, but his life tells an incredible story. He lives in a loving home with parents who adore him and a big brother and sister who love and accept him. It's as though he was theirs all along. In a way, he was. He was theirs. He just wasn't here. This is where Grayson's life began, born in Ukraine and born with a severe physical disability. So he has two several. fingers and a thumb missing most of his leg, and this hip is splayed out. But say, I'm still a happy little boy. January of last year, I traveled to Ukraine with hopeful hearts. Grayson was one of the orphans, like so many we saw staring up from cribs in crowded rooms. But even among the many, Grayson stood out because of his disability. These are the ones, really, if, if we had just enough money for one endowment, for one orphanage that we could take and house, these are the ones that I would want to take, because no one will ever adopt it. Oh, how wrong mere mortals can be. One year later, Grayson is living in Louisville. Grayson is playing with his brother and sister. Grayson's physical rehabilitation will begin soon. Hopeful Hearts was born not to facilitate adoptions, but to help those who may never get adopted. In Grayson's case, they did both. His family feels sure without Hopeful Hearts, Grayson's story would be very different. Selfishly, we benefited more than anyone just because our son was at an orphanage that gets monthly help from Hopeful Hearts. There are so many Graysons here, but far less fortunate. Jeff Bellucci has seen the plight of teenage orphans in Ukraine. One night last September, he documented their plight. I was very scared to do this, but we were asked if we would go out, and it was about 11 o'clock to 1 in the morning, um, to look for the homeless kids. They found them, living in abandoned buildings. They first spotted the signs, dirty blankets and sleeping bags piled up to keep out the cold. Then they saw them. Everywhere you turned, these kids were coming out of abandoned buildings. In the darkness, Jeff talked to the teenagers about their days and nights. Their day is typically feel, filled roaming the streets, sniffing glue it is very prominent because they just, the cold, they, they just need to find a way to get through the cold. Here on the streets, the youngsters learn to survive any way possible. We noticed one boy had, and I still can't even hardly fathom this, but um, his whole mouth was just a bruise around his mouth. And we had no idea what that could have been or what it was from, but we had a, had a gentleman with us who specialized working with trouble use, and he said that was probably a result of prostituting himself. How did you just leave them? That's the hardest part every year. Hopeful Hearts has found a way to stay with them. Soon the foundation will be offering teenagers a real home. This home with food and clothing and house parents and mentors. Hopeful Hearts has purchased this, its first transition home in Ukraine. When they leave the care of Hopeful Hearts and, and the people that they are well trained and can become good upstanding citizens and, and I'm hoping some of them will want to devote their lives to helping kids and, and that's my dream. At first, this house will be home to teenage girls. Later, boys will have a home. There are so many in Ukraine who won't be adopted but need you if they'll ever have better days.
Grayson could have so easily become one of these boys. Hopeful Hearts helped keep him healthy until his family found him. Now other children, without families, without hope of finding a family, will soon have a place to call home.